<clears throat> okay, you were like making headlines um, at the SAG Awards. So you played Chessie the nanny in The Parent Trap. I did. With Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you went to the SAG Awards with Elaine Hendricks, who plays the stepmom. I did. She's who... my best friend. She was the, the mean girlfriend. And I hated her in the movie. But yes, we met the first day of shooting. And we were both dating guys that weren't really showing up for the relationship. You guys know how that is. So anyway, <laughs> we sat down and we started talking at Marie Calendar's. I had just quit drinking. Oh my God, I she... love Marie Calendar's and congratulations Thank on the you. drinking. That was a minute ago, but yeah, right? Thank you. So I had just stopped Me drinking, too. but... Boom. Um, so uh, being a mom, that's really, for me, what it was. It was me like too. I was going through a divorce and- Oh my God, my, me too. Yeah, oh my God. You guys, we're gonna have a conversation, excuse us. We'll be right back. But, um, so I had just had a, a breakup and it was not a really good time in my life. And when my mother got divorced, she fell apart. Cause in those days, people, especially like Sicilian women, you know, Italians, that culture, you didn't really divorce. And she was so wrecked that she started drinking. And I was, it scared me. It was very scary for a kid to have a mother that wasn't present, that was passing out. So I said, I can't be that for my kids. I have to be entirely present. So I quit drinking, but I was eating pies. I ate an entire pie at Marie Calendar because every single one of those pies Thank for being you. so perceptive Thank about you. what didn't work in your childhood. Right. And, and no how... judgment. My mother was it was just a trauma for her, so no judgment. Oh my... I never finished the rest of the question. I... Oh, thank you. I'll take it. I love you. Thank you. I'm like, oh my God, I am not getting out of this show without a Drew hug. I'm getting one. I, I've got so many for you. Okay, <laughs> so you. you're eating Marie Calendar's pies with Elaine Hendricks. Yes, and, and we just bonded immediately. We became best friends. We've stayed friends over the years. I've been with her through her breakups, vice versa. I've helped move her into every home she's ever had. And I mean physically, like carrying boxes. Right. And, um, and like so, flipping a disc. Yes, exactly yeah. right. So they have the 20th anniversary of The Parent Trap five years ago, this is the 25th, and they weren't really doing anything at, at the studio. Disney really didn't do anything. So Elaine and I had a viewing party where she got us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter all at the same time. I'm in LA, she's in New York, and we just had the fans watch it with us as we like talk through it. And that was great. But I think hopefully this year they'll do something. I don't know, I haven't heard anything. Well, they should. I mean, I watch that movie all the time with my kids. Aww. And I love the Haley Mills one. Like yeah. the Parent Trap is, but Nancy Myers, you guys, it just it's a masterclass film and it's so joyful. Joyful. Thank Please you. Please do something for the anniversary. Okay. Do you hear that, Disney? Do yes. something. Yes. We'll Who's do said? something on the show. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, okay. So Sorry, we skipped around. I we, apologize. We, we did. Well, okay. So are you open to being in a relationship? A hundred percent I'm open and looking. I just, I just live in Los Angeles, the land where prom queens go to die. Okay, Not that easy. what are you looking for and where are you looking out of curiosity? Because I'm single too and I'm doing the same thing. You know what? I think as we get older, when you're young, you're like, I want the Prince Charming and he's got to be six foot three and he have blue eyes and brown hair, look like Henry Cavill. Like you have a whole list. And that then, list gets real short. Yeah, right? I'm like, I want him to be kind of beefy because I like feeding people because I'm Italian. So I want to, I don't want you to have a heart attack tomorrow, but right. I like a beefy guy, right. you know, like later in life, Russell Crowe, like right. beefy. Yes. And, then, and also not someone who's like the guy version of like, I'll have the salad. No, not that. Right. He can't be prettier than me. I did that once. Okay. It's not a good idea. No, no gym muscles, but I just want him to be funny. And that doesn't mean he's got to make jokes. He just has to laugh at everything I say. Right, exactly. <laughs> I think they call that a sense of humor. Yeah, well, a lot of guys will say, I want a funny woman. And what they mean is somebody laughs at my dumb jokes. Right. That's what that means. Right. So just a sense of humor and, and maybe a job. It would be good. Those three things. That's it. I, I, are we the same person? Yeah, 100%. Because yeah. everything tracks so far. Yeah. I am looking for someone with and a nice. sense of they humor. Have to be nice. Who, is, who has a passion and a job yeah. and is employed and distracted and busy. Right. And yeah, kind. Yeah. That's it, those Kindness. are my three. Okay, you hear that America? Let's go, get on it. But I'm, so I'm looking at, I'm looking on the dating apps, which I hate. Dating apps are hard. They're the worst. But they're like the only thing that I, the only dates I've gone on in the last few years is from a dating app. Like yeah. nobody's asked me out in real life. Does anyone, does any men here feel comfortable asking a woman out in the real world? 
One guy, one guy right there, he does. Great, you raised That's your right. hand. But he's not single, I bet. You're not single, right? Oh, no, I'm single. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay, we got a why shot, may, What's your name? Uh, sorry, uh, I'm Luke. Can I ask you why you think so many, it, at least for women's perspective, it seems like no guys are ever asking us out in real life anymore. Do you think it's because of dating apps? Because there's like a very specific portal to get accepted and rejected and we don't have to do that anymore? I think the fear of rejection is probably the biggest factor. Yeah, that's what I would assume too. Yeah. And 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 also, I think that there's an assumption that I don't have what it would take. Like you, you have your life together. You've got this amazing show. You've got your brands that you do, and they're like, I don't have enough. Because historically, women traded. We had youth and beauty. That was our commodity, and men had. This is what I can make. And give it to you. Now the world has changed, but human beings and their in their sort of biological imperative, their genetic imprint, don't change that quick. So men are like, oh, I don't earn enough. I can't, I can't compete with that. But that they overly try to impress you is what I found. Like on match or wherever I go, they'll say stuff like, Well, I just got my pilot's license, I'll take you up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't I don't want to play Russian roulette in your Cessna, Greg. Like, <laughs> you like, you just got your license. <laughs> like, take it easy. Okay, no. I don't want to play Russian roulette in your Cessna, Greg, is my new favorite sentence of 2023. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Okay, I am obsessed with this woman. I don't want to have to go to break, but we have to be right back. 